Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Now I just wanted to put together a quick video on the latest addition to the stable. In case you hadn't realised already, this is a Cross RC Emo NT4. It's a 1 10th scale crawler and of course, best of all, it's a Unimog. Now there's a few full reviews of these out there already so I don't want to go over any ground that's already been covered. All I'll say really quickly about it is that I'm super impressed both with the level of detail in this body shell, it really does look a lot like a Mercedes Unimog from the uh, 70s or 80s, uh, and also with the spec out of the box, uh, it has all sorts of good parts as standard, which you'd often have to buy as an option if you were buying one of the more expensive brands. But in order to make it my own, I've done a few little changes and modifications just to personalise it, and I thought I'd just run through those really quickly in this video. Starting off with the body, as standard it does lack a few details because of course it's not a fully licensed Mercedes-Benz Unimog. Uh, although there's lots of detail in the shell, uh, it doesn't have out of the box any of the correct badges. Actually out of the box it comes with lots and lots of Cross RC stickers. So first step of course was to peel those off. Second step to add a little bit more accuracy up at the front here is to source a Mercedes badge. This one has come from the plastic parts from a Tamiya 110 scale Unimog. And one detail that I always love to add to my crawlers, which really brings it to life in my opinion, is a driver figure. And in this case it's my usual solution of an interior from AliExpress and a Tamiya 4x4 driver figure. He debuted back in the 80s with the Tamiya Hilux and still going strong today. Next detail change has been the wheels and tyres. Out of the box it comes with some plastic wheels. The good thing about those wheels is they are actually true beadlocks and the standard tyres themselves are actually nice and grippy. So if you wanted to reuse them on some different wheels that wouldn't be a problem. But those wheels do look rather sporty. They've got spokes on them, not really in keeping with what a Union Mod would have in real life. So what I've gone for here is a set of G-Maids all steel wheels uh, in the matte black colour with no holes in them. I've also partnered these wheels with some Proline crawler tyres, 4.75 inch diameter, just because I had them in the box, uh, but they suit the truck pretty well as well. Underneath the body, we've got a really straightforward layout, which is maybe similar to the Traxxas TRX4, but with quite a few differences that makes it its own thing. Uh, this is quite a lightweight chassis as well, which is nice for performance, but some details like a very large battery tray here. I'm using a much smaller 3S LiPo, so I've got some foam around the edges to, to keep it in place securely. A front mounted motor, this comes with a 35 turn uh, three pole brushed motor, and that's run by a Cross RC branded Hobbywing 1060 speed controller. One thing to note with the speed controller, out of the box it probably has the little jumper in position to run conventional forward brake reverse, which means that when you first pull into reverse it applies the brakes and you need to pull a second time to go into reverse. I'd recommend pulling the jumper out completely and that puts the speed controller into crawler mode, which gives you the drag brake at neutral and the instant reverse. Uh, it's also a Dumbo RC branded radio system. That's the familiar Dumbo RC receiver, but the transmitter is actually a little bit nicer than I've seen before, uh, with some nicer details and some illumination on the top. So this light here lights up when it's powered on and you've got two additional options here. You've got a two speed option, on the right, so first gear and second gear for the actual main drivetrain. You've also got diff locks. It unlocks both diffs at the same time, and that's what the button on the left does. And one nice feature is that when you lock and unlock, uh, it actually illuminates and switches off the light as well, so you know which setting you're on. And here is where the servos are for those two functions, uh, hidden away in the side of the radio boxes. And uh, all came out of the factory perfectly lined up, need no further adjustment, very impressed with that. Other little details I've been impressed with is that it comes with alloy shocks out of the box and they're really nice alloy, sho alloy shocks that uh, provide really good damping. Also it comes with metal links. Also little details that you don't often see on other trucks is it comes with metal balls for the pivots and also even has aluminium hexes for the wheels when normally you'd see only plastic ones. And on the underside it comes with portal axles exactly as you'd expect for a Unimog. Uh, the Unimog being one of the few full-size vehicles that actually uses portal axles. Portals being quite commonplace these days on 1 10th scale crawlers. Uh, also comes with a metal geared servo here uh, and uh, the usual kind of alignment for the transmission from underneath. Uh, one small tweak that I did with the servo horn is I've replaced it with an aluminium horn. The standard horn uh, 
positions the link in such a position that it's slightly high relative to the servo and it actually makes contact with the steering link at full steering compression. So I've gone for this fast tracks horn which actually drops the uh, pivot ball down closer to the the servo itself and that gives you a bit more clearance. Just a little detail but about the only thing that I found in the whole truck that wasn't like perfect out of the box and probably not something that most people would need to worry about anyway uh, in practice but otherwise a very impressive uh, ready to run model for the money and one that I've really enjoyed running around in the few times I've had it out this summer. So we'll finish off with a little bit more footage of this one running around the woods. As ever, I hope you found the video interesting. Uh, if you've got any questions or comments, please do leave them below. I'd also appreciate a like or even a subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Uh, as ever, thank you very much for watching.